Hey guys, uh, in this tutorial I'll show you how to extract your own acapellas in uh, any song you want. Um, in other words, we're going to be removing instruments out of a already recorded song. Um, and we're going to be using Adobe Audition, which is a little different. I, I, n I never actually used this in one of my tutorials, uh, or any of my tutorials. But the reason why I'm using Adobe is because you can zoom in the waveform really far and I think that's really the, the, the biggest thing about it because in FL Studio you actually can't zoom in as far um, as you can in Adobe which I'll show you later but basically all we're doing is we're taking an original song and we're taking an instrumental version of that song and we're just going to be inverting the instrumental so that it cancels the instruments out. Um, you can theoretically do this with anything. You could technically extract um, a guitar out of a song or a um, maybe just like this one instrument out of a song as long as you had a raw sample of that instrument from that original track which is pretty unlikely you'll ever have but theoretically it, it would work um, now I'm gonna be using one of my remixes uh, my older ones because I find that this one uh, worked the best uh, out of uh, my other remix that I tried to uh, extract earlier um, because sometimes it, some uh, instruments or some sounds can kind of sneak its way into the track even though you're inverting it um, and I find the more professional songs you find and the better the quality uh, the less chances you'll you'll end up with that but for the most part this worked quite well uh, so it's my whatever you say remix and the reason why I'm using my song it isn't just because I want to like promote myself I don't, I'm not even really that proud of this song at all um, it's actually just because, um, I guess just copyright reasons, I don't want to just use an actual song. Um, so, I'll just be using mine. Uh, but yeah, so this is the full version up here. And all I did on FL Studio was I extracted it, and then I went to the exact same file, the exact same everything. And I just erased the uh, the vocals. I just erased the vocals. So there was just an instrumental version. Then I extracted the exact same way. So what I have here are like the exact same song. Everything's the same. Uh, the quality, the bit rate, and the more the things are the same, the better this will end up uh, sounding. Uh, the better, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'll make you guys listen to the uh, original full version. I think I actually messed around a little bit and uh, I somehow pitched that upward a little bit uh, somehow that that one little weird pitch but anyway uh, so all you have to do um, is you gotta take the instrumental I guess I could get you guys to listen to that it's exact same thing just without vocals um, and you want to go to that instrumental just double click on that and then you can either just drag it all, but I think I just double click, it just selects everything. Um, and then you want to go into effects and invert. So then it'll start doing this. Uh, and then the next step after this is to align the waveform so both waveforms are directly underneath each other. Because what we're actually doing, I guess the science behind this is um, you have waveform of the full track and then you have a waveform of the exact same track except there's no vocals so just the instruments so what we have here is instruments instruments and vocal so if we flip over the instruments um, we're canceling out the instruments in this track which means that it's it's getting rid of the instruments so we just end up with vocals um, so that's basically all we're doing here so since I inverted it um, the next thing we do, oh sorry, didn't mean to do that, multi-track view. Uh, next thing you would have to do is you'd have to align it, like you have to zoom in, this is control and um, using my, my mouse wheel, but I guess you can just use this thing here. Um, and you want to go as, as far as you can. Now this is about as far as you go, 
Um, and in FL Studio, you, you, you can never go this far, and this is why I'm using Adobe, or at least most of the reason why. Um, now basically all you would do is, let's say you want to get this Lady Gaga song or something, you want to find the acapella for that, but you couldn't find it, so you're going to do it yourself. Now do this at a desperate measure, of course, because <laughs> it doesn't always work, you need a little bit of luck, but um, let's say you're trying to go, I don't know, trying to get the acapella out of Love Game or something, and uh, you look that up on YouTube, uh, what you'd have to do is find the, the best quality Love Game CD version, uh, HD, I don't know, and find that on YouTube, buy it on iTunes, whatever you have to do, um, and you gotta get the MP3 or waveform file, whatever, and you have to drag that into Adobe. Now, once you got the full version, the the original version into Adobe, you want to look up on YouTube, Google, whatever you can find for the official instrumental, studio instrumental, or at least the best quality instrumental out there. Um, and once you find the instrumental version, download that or whatever, buy it, what do you have to do? Throw that underneath like I did here. So what you'll end up with is full version instrumental, okay? Now, what you have to do is it won't come out as perfect as it is for me because I did this on FL Studio. Obviously, it's coming out like super well aligned, but it'll probably come out like something like this. One of the waveforms will be really much thicker than others. Um, so, first thing you have to make sure of is the volume, which is this right here the volume or the gain. Um, that has to be like identical or about the same um, as, as the other one down here um, so the full version volume of the full version has to be really close to the volume or the leveling of the uh, instrumental version so they both have to have a good balance between them um, look on the decibel meter right here to make sure now obviously the full version will be a bit louder because there's vocals in it but you know keep that in mind it has to be about the same and then the next step obviously is to align it so that the waveform up here is like to the tenth, a hundredth to a, of a millimeter um, underneath the other. Like it has to be so precise. Uh, so like I said, you have to zoom right in. You got to find that sweet spot, and you got to keep on kind of messing around with it until it's, until it's, you know, right, 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 right underneath each other. And then once it is, you'll hear that the vocals, uh, or the, I mean, the instrument is actually going to start to fade out. And then once you hear that the instrument's starting to fade out, you know you're getting close. Um, and then you can play it. Uh, wait, it has to be. Is that good? And make sure that it's uh, right against the uh, the beginning. All right, so I'm gonna play it from the start. Anyway, you get it, but uh, there you go. So there's, there's no more instruments. It's very clean. Now make sure you go through the rest of the song and uh, make sure that no instruments actually slip through. Um, now this is really poorly made professionally, so I'm sure there's other instruments that kind of made it through uh, the invert. Um, but for the most part, theoretically, this works every time. Um, like I said, get the best uh, quality versions of the instrumental and the full version. Well, I mean, technically the quality doesn't really matter so much, is that the quality is the same. Like, you could have a shitty quality here and a shitty qu quality here, but as long as, like, the bitrate quality and a uh, sample rate, whatever you want to call it, is exactly the same number, um, you're, you're going to be golden, pretty much. And, obviously, you got to make sure the tempo is the same. If the tempo isn't the same, um, and you're, like, wondering, like, why aren't they not playing together at the same time, like I said, the tempo of either the instrumental or the full version, they're not the same. Uh, that can happen because uh, you actually took a wrong instrumental or a remake of the version or a different version, I don't know, but um, temp tempo can definitely change. I've, I've tried to extract a lot of acoustic songs like Coldplay and things like that, 
and because they're like played by like human um, obviously the tempo isn't always perfect uh, and I got like this remake karaoke version and the karaoke versions are usually remakes they're not actually studio versions of the uh, instrumentals so it's careful of exactly what you get but for the most part this works every time and you know at desperate measures and with a little luck you should be able to uh, should be able to extract the acapella out of any songs from this point on you just um, probably want to save that or export it as a WAV file and put it into your project as your vocals so there you go guys um, hope you enjoyed the tutorial see you for the next one